All right, guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today's video is going to be a Q&A, and I'm going to be answering some of your guys' frequently asked questions um, that you guys have actually been asking me in previous videos. Um, so the very first thing that I actually wanted to cover is your offer, right? So whenever you guys actually are running a social media marketing agency, you want to be like very, very confident in your offer, right? If your offer is not good, you guys are not going to sign a single client, not, not even one client, right? You guys can ask anyone who is running a successful agency right now and they have like you know tons of and tons of clients they're going to tell you the same exact thing like if your offer is not good you're not going to sign a client maybe like a year or two ago you guys would have been able to sign a client with a shitty offer um but that's just not the case anymore because this space is so oversaturated and there's just so many people um that are actually just sending out the same exact email that you're sending out you guys might not think it's the same email but it's literally like they're very very similar Right, so it's gonna go something like this. Hey Bob, I came across your home improvement company, insert specific niche. Um, I like what you guys are doing, um, but I noticed that you guys weren't running Facebook ads. May I ask why? And then you guys will say something like, you know, can we schedule a 15 minute call sometime next week or something like that. And guys, I was using the same exact offer just a few months ago. Literally, I was using the same exact offer that you guys are using and not a single one of my emails was actually opened up, letting alone setting a meeting, let alone closing a client. Not a single one of these emails was genuinely opened up. And I believe they were even hitting the spam folder as well, right? So they weren't even reaching the actual inbox for them not to get opened up, for them not to set a meeting, for them not to close the actual client, right? Um, so you guys just want to make sure your offer is something that's completely irresistible, something that's unique, something that, you know, like if, if a potential client sees this and they read your offer, they're going to be like, okay, I can't go without accepting this offer because I'm going to feel as though I just missed out on something big. That's how good you guys want this thing to be, right? Um, and how do you actually go about doing that, right? So there's like, there's a variety of ways, right? So what I like to do personally is I like to give them a free audit of their actual website. So I just offer that um, somewhere along the essay, um, or I'll say something like, I can like check out your guys' Facebook uh, page for you and I can help you guys set up you know, the pixel. So I can help you guys set up your, your Facebook ads manager. Like, Believe it or not, some of these people actually don't even have an ads manager page set up. They don't even have the pixel installed. Like they're just technologically, like they don't have anything set up, right? So if you guys offer that to them, you guys can build trust within the first week and then from there, um, you can make the actual proposal to them to start working with them long term, taking care of their marketing um, department, essentially just completely taking care of their marketing for them. Um, or you guys could even give them like a two week free trial as well on top of that, which is going to make it even higher. Um, it's going to make it an even higher chance of them actually working with you. Right. So just make sure your offer is good because literally that's 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 probably like the most important part of your agency right it's kind of like the thesis in an essay right if your thesis is not good the rest of your essay you're not going to have much to write about and then it's going to turn out crappy and then the person who's reading is just going to be like you know what the hell is wrong with this essay and they're just they're going to stop reading right so you guys need to make sure your offer um is always solid very first thing um, and then the second question that I was getting from a lot of you guys is, should I actually go and hire a media buyer before I even land my first client? So this is actually what I did, but I wouldn't recommend this for people who don't already understand how Facebook ads work. Like personally, I already understood how Facebook ads work because um, I used to run a uh, Shopify store just like six, seven months ago, literally not even that long ago, right? So I kind of understood like how Facebook ads work. My accounts had been banned several times, so I understood how to avoid getting them banned. Um, you know, like the best the best practices to actually keep your, your account in good standing, um, you know, how to get good results for clients. Like I understood all these different things, right? Because my Shopify store was like semi-successful. You know, we had some sales like here and there. It was doing pretty decent, right? We made around like 2K, right, from that. So I kind of understood already. So by the time that I actually started my social media marketing agency, I was able to just go ahead and hire a media buyer just right off the bat so they could actually uh, take care of the ads, right? And this media buyer, I'm not even paying him that much. He, he doesn't, he didn't really ask for that much um, either because he's actually from a, um, from overseas. So the currency where he, where he actually lives um, is actually worth a lot less. So I don't even have to pay him that much, but he actually is a really good media buyer. Shout out to him if he's watching this. Um, he knows his shit like a lot like he really he really does know his shit um so 
but yeah for you guys who don't really know how to run facebook ads you guys don't know how the system works i recommend you guys to actually get some practice um you know just get some practice initially learn how to run facebook ads for clients because at any moment your your media buyer could just leave you guys or you guys might end up firing them um, because they're not doing a good job as a matter of fact you guys are not going to know what a good job looks like because you haven't even run ads yourself so you know it's kind of just like a plan b if you will right it's just like a plan b you guys need to have the skill set yourself just in case anything happens you guys need to be do, able to do every single facet of the agents you guys need to be taking care of it yourselves you guys need to know how to do proper outreach how to do proper facebook ads how to do proper um you know you name it you guys need to ha you guys need to have all these different skills because all the members of your team when you guys are first starting out there's not that much like trust between you and them they're kind of just like contractors right so you you never know what's going to really happen um as well as whenever it does come to setting meetings you guys need to learn how to set your own meetings um, i would recommend using acuity scheduling or calendly that way you guys can actually go ahead and set meetings um, more efficiently um i've had potential clients in the past actually forget that we were supposed to meet because i would send them like a single email and then they would just like respond back saying you know i have like hundreds of emails a day what, do you, what did you think sending me a single email was going to actually do but with something like calendly it sends them like multiple um, reminders per day so you, they might get like five or six different reminders about the meeting that's going to be happening the next day so like the actual like show up rate is going to increase by a lot um but yeah that's pretty much all i had for you guys for today's video if you guys did enjoy please go ahead and subscribe with the notification bells on leave a like on this video as well um in exchange for all the free information that i just gave you guys because as usual all the information in this video they would have charged you guys a thousand dollars for a course if this was any other youtuber um but yeah i'll see you guys in the next video